Well, I am still wearing the same shirt because this is the only one I have of the Fantastic Beasts. And Fantastic Beast was all about Hufflepuff with our beautiful little newt creature, or newt boy that he is. But we are missing the other accessories. So, Accio accessories. Much better. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. If this is the first time you are clicking on one of my videos, let me introduce myself. Hi, my name is Liz and I bundle a bunch of different content onto my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video and I hope you enjoy. So. Mudblood part one in the last video was so flipping good and I don't know about y'all, but I, I need more. I, I absolutely need more. So as you can see by the title on the screen, we are doing part two today. Obviously there's nothing else to say. Let's jump into this video. As always, my channel is not for kids. Below me is the only warning I can find, but as we saw in episode one, there is bad language in this one and I might do bad language as well. So that is my warning to you. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this. All right, are we ready? In three, two, one, play. <clears throat> How far back are you gonna go, hun? Is he limping because of what he was hit with, or is he... Oh! I've never seen a, like, square teapot before. That's weird. Okay. Well done, Merlin. I'm certain little Jack Hornsby missed his prison cell. I'm just happy to bring him home. So, why don't you... Give me a real challenge this time. The Warrington girl won't be that easy. She's already avoided capture by the sisters and plenty of other Death Eaters. With all due respect, Mr. Twycross, I did not sign up to be a babysitter. Come on, Merlin. This should be quite a challenge for you. It's a time-sensitive issue, so let's get to it. Time-sensitive issue, get it? It's funny. <laughs> Because he has the time turn. Ba -da -ba -ba. Oh, okay, so this is him going back in time. Okay, gotcha. Thank God this painting is not moving because I swear to God if it did, it would creep me out. <laughs> D it, that's the thing though. In America, do the paintings move as much as they do at Hogwarts or? What the hell happened? Oh, are we at Hogwarts? Oh, cool. I love that we have a Hufflepuff story. This is so nice. And yes, that is the slithery of me saying that. Watch this. No, 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 no. Leave her alone. No. no. I am terribly sorry about that, Muriel. Can I give you a man? Stay away from me. What do you got here? Don't fight in the halls. Don't fight in the halls. Don't fight in the halls. Oh, 
oh, it's the badges for Potter. I got it. Okay. I was about to say, like, why? What are those badges? That's not the prefix badge. Students should not be in the Forbidden Forest. Students should not be in the Forbidden Forest. Why aren't you helping? into the forbidden forest go out of the forbidden forest go back to your common room something no you're doing the opposite of what I said though in just like two seconds now we're on a cruise ship this is weird oh okay I don't understand did she do the crucio curse and then get on the cruise ship because she felt like she had to leave or did she how'd she get the cup of hell hell go huff puff is my question was the um uh that was the uh the Dumbledore's army right hey. see this is why you always wear your bag over your shoulder if I'm not mistaken I think that's the you koala bag too I'll leave the link to you koala bags in the description box down below. Grab your wand, Accio bag. You're a witch. I thought you were a nomad. Give it back. Come on, girly. I'm sure your parents can afford to take care of you. Give it back. How about letting this poor old man have a nice hot meal for one night? I won't ask again. Give? Give me back my bag. Now. Please. You think you're pretty powerful with that thing, don't you, child? I know I am. Don't let me... Someday, somebody shows you some mercy. Drop it. See? Not so dangerous now, are you, sweetie? Help me, somebody! Yeah. 
Muriel. Yeah, just a bad dream, I guess. Like a Muriel. How long was I out? Uh, like uh, 15 hours or so. Dad and I were starting to get worried. Made you some tea. Thank you. My dad and I are out in the study, if you want to join us. Yeah. The hell? Oh, okay. Work for quite some time. It's just a different actor for Jack. Figured you were. I mean, really, I was wondering what was taking you so long. I mean, I knew my luck was running out, but yeah. And that's the thing about scum like you. No matter how <laughs> lucky you think you are, I am always luckier. <laughs> At least he's got the evil laugh down. Oh, so America Your solitary confinement makes a man go quite mad. It forces him to know nothing but darkness. So my question for you, Jack, is how... So America doesn't use Azkaban, apparently. Okay. How would you like to start from scratch? Huh? A new beginning of sorts. What? Why? You're not taking me to the city, are you? You're a lucky man. What? <laughs> oh, I thought the curl was the lightning bolt for two seconds. I was going like, is this Harry Potter? But no, it's not. Muriel, oh, I'm so glad you're awake. Alvin and I have been in desperate need of your help. Huh? What's wrong, Dad? Well... I really don't know how to say this, so I'm just going to come right out and say it. I'm hungry. And I thought we could make some lunch. Wow. <laughs> Muriel, did I ever tell you that I am probably the best cook in this family? Oh, don't listen to him. We've had to work takeout for months. No, no we haven't. You burn every meal. <laughs> really? What exactly are we making? A classic American meal. It's called lasagna. We have lasagna in England, you know. Well, my dad's... You know. All right. Next, we layer on the noodles. Can I help? Of course, Mr. Finch. Oh, please, call me Norman. My, my dad's dad was Mr. Finch. My dad was simply Finch. And I'm just Norman. All right, Norman. So, when I asked you to stay with us, did you ever think this is what you'd be doing? Not quite. Herbology may be my profession, but fine cuisine, now that is my true passion. You're supposed to layer it with another's. And it's burnt. Look how much... Yeah. Ta-da! Pizza. Pizza's pretty good today. Better than yesterday's, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, Alvin's mom was the real chef in our family. She Aww. even published several cookbooks. Yeah, you refused to read them. Hey, I helped write those books. Okay, I... At least I helped type them up for her. Is that her? In that photo? That's Liv, yeah. We miss her. 
Mom and Dad were adventurers. Even killed a small basilisk once in South America. Ooh! That was so many years ago. We, uh, uh... We were helping villagers in need. It was a mission trip organized by Makusa. That's the dagger they killed it with. Goblin made too. That was a gift from an old colleague of mine. Cormac Abernathy. I'm really sorry. He was an honorable man. I'm just glad the two of you are safe. Yeah, seriously. What's wrong? I've got to go. Uh, Muriel, wait. I can't put you in danger. Muriel, Muriel, hey, 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 you don't have to run. You don't understand. They'll never stop hunting me. Then we'll stop them. How? You're not in the spite alone. They want you, but have to go through me first. And me. Hey, at least we'll have the home field advantage, right? And I heard you're the most skilled fighter your age. She sent Ken Vorman half to hell. You sound like pretty good odds to me. What do you say? At least show them what you're hiding. I'll take those odds. No, I wouldn't trust them so easily. See you, you know. Sorry. Didn't know if you were decent. You didn't know she was decent and yet we're still looking? You don't have to be scared of me. Who says I'm scared of you? Okay, just a little scared. You're growing on me. Growing on you, huh? I'm honored. Why are they after it? That cop. It was entrusted to Emmeline by a witch named Bellatrix the Strange. Apparently by you-know-who's orders. He wanted it on the other side of the world. Oh. So, you're telling me that this cup belongs to Volta? Yes. Don't say the name. I should get a hold of it. It's complicated. You need to tell them the story! If, if they're gonna put their lives into- Mac and I tried destroying it. It's protected with dark magic. Oh! Use the yeah, dagger! Keep it safe at oh. all costs. Do you have any idea what it could be? Come on. Let's go for a walk. You can't I'm leave- tired. You've been sleeping for a million hours. <laughs> Ugh, I just want to hibernate. Come on, get up. No! Augmenta! Okay, that was a bit more than a sprinkle. I am so sorry. Get back here! <laughs> you can't leave the bag unattended! You cannot leave the bag unattended! You cannot leave the bag unattended! <laughs> what the? F why the hell is he wearing the other guy's robes? Like, why? I hope you understand the severity of the actions you're about to undertake. <laughs> Where exactly are you taking me? A breach in the law of time could severely change the future. I am well aware of the consequences, Walton. Still, I Us in America don't care about those rules. Especially with this man. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, what's the matter, Waldy? Not coming with us now? Hmm? He has chosen a better fate for himself. Haven't you, Hornsby? I've chosen the lesser of the two rules. Well. Then you're going to need this. <laughs> I know you brought me around for a reason. <clears throat> oh. 
but pretty now. What the hell just happened? Do you ever shut up? No. See how I scrapped my leg? I have underestimated you, Evergreen. Why, you're using me as bait, aren't you? Do you know what they do to people like you in the death cell at Makusa? Consider yourself lucky. Oh, but I do. You've said it yourself. Don't you dare. You need that. Thank you. Immobilis. Take the time turn back. Why aren't you taking the time turn back? I hate it when characters are stupid just for the sake of being stupid. Defendo. <laughs> Stupefy. Oh, he did. Okay. I think a levy corpus is blue, not. get it now. Huh. So now he's going back again? I don't... What? So this is what happened to them after they left the forest, okay. It's really beautiful out here. My mom and I used to walk this path all the time, collecting... Rares and plants. She sounds lovely. Oh, this is she after wants. the the water fight. Okay. I miss her. She died two years ago during a rage to apprehend Emmeline Perkis. That's why I'm here, isn't it? You want to know my involvement with them. 
You knew what I was when you met me. You're not a murderer, Muriel. You don't know what I am. That mark in your arm doesn't prove anything. There's no going back to the person I was. Why not? You don't know what it's like to be ridiculed for what you are. To be teased and bullied. To be a loner. An outcast from a cruel world that is hell-bent on reminding you that you don't matter. I, I, I could see that. Look, I'm sorry about your mother. I really am. But you've got a loving father who would give the world for you. Mm -hmm. My parents abandoned me. Left me to fend for myself the moment they realized I had magic within me. I'm a monster in everyone's eyes. You don't know what it's like. Except for at Hogwarts. I'm a monster. Don't. I believe in you, Muriel. It is your destiny. No. So cool to see a red wand. Never seen a red wand before. dad's dead his dad's dead his dad's de oh no 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 oh no please don't tell me his father's dead please don't do this no 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 i can't i can't deal with this no 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 oh god no oh god no oh no 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 oh thank god suppose you would have any of those lying around here, would you? Where are you going? I'm going with him. The hell you are! Sorry, kid. Time is of the essence. Cool. That's a goal. Son. Son, I can't. 
can't let you go. You conquered the world, Dad. You and Mom. Muriel needs me. We're the only spark of hope she has left in a world that has treated her with nothing but darkness. I'm doing this because it's what you would have done for Mom. It's the right thing to do. This is our town, son. And you know these skies better than they do. And those sound like pretty good odds to me. <laughs> Home field advantage? Home field advantage. Yeah. I love his broom. His broom's cool. Oh no. No! No! Oh gosh. Oh man, that was so good! Why is it so good? Oh man. You know us, we have to go to the end. I don't see anything though, so nope. Oh man. Oh man, alright. Oh man, y'all. Y'all. That is so good. It's such a good story. I I really want to, I, I really, I, I need to know what happens in number three, but that this story is so good and it's I can see why it, again it's one of the bigger Harry Potter fan films out there like when you search Harry Potter fan film it's like the first one that pops up and now I see why it's so good oh man it's so good so with that being said again all the original content is in the description box down below please go to the original content and give it all the love and support it deserves but before you do that please give this video a massive thumbs up because it helps out this channel in several ways also if you have liked this video please hit that subscribe button scroll down to the comment section that you have subscribed so I can thank you for doing so and while you are down there go ahead and comment what's your favorite mode of transportation in Harry Potter Brooms, train, the motorbike, apparition, anything of those kinds. Mine is definitely the train. I love trains though, so I'm kind of biased for the train. But yes, comment what's your favorite mode of transportation for Harry Potter. And as I always say, I personally never care about the notification bell. I suggest following me on Twitter and Instagram because that is where I will be posting what I will be doing next. And if you have liked this reaction, I have other reactions here and here. But with that, I shall let y'all go, I shall say goodbye, and I shall see y'all in the next video. Bye!